Uh, I've, uh, I've had psoriasis since probably, uh, I can remember being about six or seven and having coal tar baths. And then in my sort of teenage years, it did go. But sadly, uh, in my early 20s, it came back with a bit of a vengeance. And um, I've had it ever since. So yeah, it's been quite a long time now. It comes up more often than I would <laughs> like it to come up. Honestly, because uh, the nature of the show, the nature of costume and all of the kind of things that we're doing constantly changing, um, I am you know, pretty much unable because of continuity and all of that kind of thing to, to get into shorts or short sleeve shirts. And it's, it's a shame because I think anybody who has psoriasis will know that the more covered up it is, the worse it will get. So it would be a lot more helpful if I could just keep my arms out all the time. But um, yeah, sadly, sadly not. Um, yeah, they're great. Rex, Kit, and Ezra. Uh, they are just, it's crazy, crazy times in our house. Um, yeah, from 6 a.m. when they all seem to get up and uh, through till bedtime. Yeah, it's just, um, it's a madhouse. I think anybody who has it will, you know, being intimate with somebody, it, it certainly in the early part of a relationship can, you know, affect you. Um, but certainly, by the time we had started talking about having kids, it really wasn't a part of the conversation. Um, I had largely stopped using steroid-based creams, which I, you know, I guess I would have been loosely aware that that had, would have had possibly some effect. But um, yeah, it, it really didn't come into it. I didn't think about it in any great detail. Um, it was just, you know, we got married and, and then it was, you know, the, the next step and, and one we were, you know, looking forward to taking. Not, not in that kind of way. Uh, it's interesting having kids. I, I certainly didn't think about it beforehand or, or, or how that would affect them as kids. I mean, you're quite used to people commenting on it. You're quite used to it coming up in conversation, particularly if, if you are... I remember going on holiday to Australia with my wife and her family were all there and quite a few of them started pointing it out and, and sort of making, <laughs> making fun of the fact that uh, an English guy couldn't um, handle the sun. And, and uh, they thought it was all uh, sunburn and I had to, you know, point out that it, it wasn't that, it was psoriasis and it was all rather embarrassing for everyone. Um, but uh, yeah, that would have been around the time that we were thinking of starting a family and, and it, it didn't really, I guess I must have been aware also that the, the, one of the kids might have it or, or something like that. I, I still don't know on what basis if there's any sort of hereditary nature to this. Um, I don't think maybe someone does and someone can tell me, but um, yeah, it, it didn't come into the thinking at that time. I've definitely got better at having a regime or being concentrated on, on making sure that it happens. You know, I still obviously, I don't necessarily believe that the, the solution to my psoriasis will be, be topically and, and creams and things like that, but it certainly does help. And I think it's really important to make sure that you're putting aside enough time, getting yourself into a proper regime where you are, you are applying whatever creams you do, you're having uh, a salt bath, whatever it is that you do for you and you find that that works, making sure that you, you do it. Um, because it's so easy to just to get thrown into family life. You know, the day goes out the window, you're running around all over the shop, dropping kids here, there and everywhere. And, and you know, it, it can be very easy to, to just let your thing slide, but trying to, you know, stick with it is, is really important. And it's good for you, you know, to know that you're doing something proactive. I think it's all really good for your own sort of mental health around the whole thing. Yeah, definitely. I think it's really important to have a supportive partner. Um, my wife's brilliant. She's, she encourages me more than, you know, I, I encourage myself to do these things. So if you, if you have someone that's sort of saying, oh, well, you're not having another bath, are you? And, and I'll be like, no, I'm trying to soak my legs. And it is, I find that a massive 
psychologically beneficial thing to do. And if I had someone sort of moaning at me to, to come downstairs and, and do breakfast for the kids or whatever, that would be a problem. Um, so yeah, you need someone that's going to support you through that. Otherwise, you really aren't going to have the impetus to, to carry on doing it. Yeah, just be patient, I think, with um, be patient with someone who has it because it, it is quite, it's a difficult thing to get a handle on because you're not really aware of what is causing it. it it's one of those things that it, it, you can feel very, I'm trying to think of the, word, the right word, you just don't have control over it. So the, th the small things that you do have control over, you need to be doing. And it, if you can have a supportive partner and you can have your own regime set in stone that you just do that every morning, it only takes a couple of minutes and, and you get into a good pattern of doing those things together, then you know that, I think that could be massively helpful um, because that's the, the key to it. And then you can actually start looking at, if it's not hurting and if you're not sort of firefighting, you know, the, if it's not hurt, you know, cracked and all of those different things, then you can actually concentrate on trying to fix it internally as well, which, you know, really does take an enormous amount of time. I, I've recently started a new, you know, diet where I, I'm trying to cut out all the bad things, you know, alcohol, sugar, red meat, and it's showing improvement, but all of those things, trying to devise a menu plan, for instance, is really hard and it takes a long time. And, you know, you need, my wife has had to be very patient with me because she's getting meals that doesn't, don't necessarily tick a lot of boxes, but, you know, I, and that's what I need to do right now. And, and I need to see if that works and go through the process. So yeah, that's, it's really important.